So I like to buy camera equipment, but I'm also cheap, and I don't like spending money. Hello, I like money. One thing I've always found it particularly hard to find is a decent camera slider on the cheap. Something to help you get those buttery smooth B-roll shots. Uh, my first attempt at this was this guy. Uh, it's the and Andoa Andir and Andoa 40 centimeter camera slider track for Nikon Canon Sony DSLR camera camcorder video filmmaking. If you ask me, the name could use work. Uh, with this thing, you basically get what you pay for. It costs about $23.99 on Amazon. If anyone is interested, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Uh, but it is a manual camera slider, so you attach your camera to this plate here. And as the word manual might suggest, you just push your camera along like so. Which can lead to a couple of issues. Uh, firstly, if you're a little bit shaky like me, then uh, yeah, just pushing the camera along, it gets kind of jumpy and you need a perfectly still surface to be able to do it. So on the bottom here, you can actually attach this to a tripod. If your tripod isn't perfectly level, then it throws off the entire shot. Uh, secondly, there are attachments that you could get to make this a little bit more versatile, but as it comes, the plate is just flat. So if you wanted to point it in a particular direction forwards, Backwards, uh, these screw out, but by like three inches. So not enough to get any kind of tilt. You can literally just get a flat sideward shot with this. So you're asking Mark, what's the alternative? Well, something with a motor where I don't have to push it myself because I'm shaky and I'm lazy. The issue is if you search electric or motorized camera slider, you basically get two different ends of the scale. You get the professional on a track industry level camera sliders uh, ranging from sort of 300 pounds to uh, I don't even want to look because it makes me sad. And then time and time again, around about the 50, 60 pound mark, you'll basically see two options pop up a lot. Uh, one of them is this guy, the Andoa, making a play again in this market. Uh, it's the Andoa L4. Or oh, there's the topic of today's video, the Kingjoy PPL06S. Again, name could use work. Uh, or you might have seen it under one of a hundred other different names because it's a big Amazon FBA item. Uh, people just manufacture it in China and just stick their own name on it. So I did some research. I read some reviews on both of these. Uh, there seems to be an equal amount of positive and negative reviews on these. So I took a 50-50 shot and obviously landed with the Kingjoy. However, the reviews I did watch on this, particularly painful. It's basically someone just unboxing it and talking about the battery and not actually using it. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna show you some things you can do with this. But still, before we get into the review of this, my first thoughts is it's reminiscent of something you can make in seventh grade shop class. It's literally a battery, a motor, three wheels, and a circuit board, but for 50, 60 pounds. So the price is still kind of annoying, but for that price point, what exactly do you get? And we're gonna find out today. So in the box, you get the slider, a ball head camera mount, and some Allen keys to adjust the wheels as well. Micro USB cable to charge this up because the battery is internally built into this, which is pretty cool. We've seen a lot of others where you just have to like stick in AA batteries, which just seems weird to me in 2019. Uh, but yeah, the internal battery Kingjoy says lasts up to 10 hours under an average load and one hour under its max load, which is surprisingly four kilos or just under nine pounds if you're in the US. To the metric system. So to control the King Joy slider, there's four buttons on the side here. There is no remote like with the Andoa, that was a contributing factor when I made this decision, but didn't seem like a big one. Uh, so there's just an on off button, a directional button, whether you want it to go backwards or forwards, and a plus and minus to control the speed of which there are three of them. Four of them. One, two, three, four, five. Of which there are five different speeds. So I know what you're thinking. So far I've done exactly the same as those other videos I complained about. I've taken it out of the box and I've talked about it. Uh, so here's the 60 pound question. What exactly can you do with the King Joy slider?
as I mentioned, the ball head mount that you get with the King Joy uh, gives you a lot more versatility compared to the Andoa, either the manual slider that I have or the Andoa L4, which both have flat static mounts. So you'd either have to buy a ball head mount separately or get creative like I've done with this one and stuck books under one side of it before. Uh, the size to me was another massive selling point. Uh, the practicality of being able to store something this small or also if you're a videographer and you want to run and gun and use something like this, it's extremely easy to transport. Uh, compared to something like the manual slider, which basically just goes left and right and lets you get those pass by shots, the wheel on the front of this one allows you to get a lot more creative with those rounder subject shots or pass by shots or anything you can think of that you can do within 90 degrees apparently there's degrees on the front I like that and then as you could see from the previous footage the camera I was using on this was a Canon 200D so it's not massively heavy it's pushing nowhere near that max weight that King Joy say this can go up to uh, so I didn't have any issues with one the battery life uh, it's still going. And two, it's just a small battery and some rubber wheels at the end of the day. So I've got to imagine the more weight you put on this, uh, the slightly less smooth the shots might get. It may get a little bit more jittery, but if you're just using a DSLR, a phone, a GoPro, anything like that, it's gonna handle that weight fine and your shots should be buttery smooth. With that being said, let's get on to some of the downsides of this slider. Uh, firstly, and probably goes without saying, you need to be using this on a flat, hard surface. So if you were looking to get some scenery shots or some outside time lapses, uh, unless you carry around a big sheet of plastic with you, you'd probably struggle putting it on something like grass or brick or something where you'd want to get the shot. However, for getting simple product B-roll shots in my office slash living room, um, it does fine. Not only on the two tables that you saw me use it on, it actually withstands on a carpet as well. Next, would it be better with a remote? Probably, yeah. Uh, there were a couple of shots there where I had to line it up just perfectly and it kind of felt like when I was turning it on and changing the speeds that I may have pushed it slightly and changed the direction it was going to end up going. However, that being said, if it did come with a tiny remote like the Andoa, I know myself pretty well, I'd lose it. Next, let's talk about the noise that the internal motor makes in this. Uh, I've got to imagine if you're taking B-roll shots, you're probably not using the audio from that footage anyway, so it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, but just in case you needed to, let's just give you an idea of the noise it makes on the different speed levels. So we have level one, level two, level three, level four, and then it's top speed, level five. So yeah, having your camera mounted to this, uh, the internal mic is going to pick up all of those motor sounds. But as I said, I can't really imagine a situation where you'd want to use the audio from that B-roll anyway. Uh, next, even though I didn't push this thing up to the max weight that King Joy say it can handle, one issue I did find is just a kind of balancing issue. Uh, because of the two wheels at the back and the one wheel at the front, it's kind of a Robin Reliant only fools and horses issue. <laughs> And if you're below the age of 20 or not English, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, basically, the DSLR that I put, because the battery is in one side of the camera, one side is heavier than the other, putting the ball head mount in certain positions did cause it to tip over. However, that was kind of pushing it to the extremes of tilting the camera to one side, but for your standard shots, uh, it held up fine. And lastly, I know it sounds like I'm saying a lot of negatives, but I really did like this thing. Uh, my last complaint is, as I've already mentioned, the price. Uh, for what it is in its simplicity, it really doesn't feel like it should be costing 50 or 60 pounds. However, when you look at the alternatives, the manual slider for 23 pounds just wasn't good enough. And I'm really not looking to pay the 300 pounds upwards for a professional electric slider. So something like this, I guess is a nice middle point and doesn't really break the bank. So I'll give it a pass. So yeah, despite sounding somewhat negative, I really do actually like this thing. Uh, I was really impressed with the shots that we could get with it, especially when you pair it together with a macro lens for those b-roll shots especially for something like my channel of products or even if you're a cooking channel you could set it up on the countertop let it go buy your ingredients for those fancy smancy shots uh yeah for any creative types i would really recommend this thing if you're interested i'll leave a link to both this and the andoa l4 in the description down below if you enjoyed this video you found it particularly helpful a like rating would be appreciated if you have not already remember to subscribe to the channel and as always i shall see you in the next one